all. This is just a very, very quick super mini tutorial on using Movie Edit Pro Plus 2016 with MP4 files recorded with both a mic track and an audio track recorded separately. This was in response to a YouTube channel question I saw the other day. So here I've got a little bit of gameplay footage. The game is Computer Faction. So let's bring that in. Now let's see what we've got. Mic track, mic track. So there's our mic track. If you right click over it. By the way, if you don't see this set up, go to audio functions. Make sure video and audio are on separate tracks. Now right click over the audio, switch to audio track. And yes, we do have two audio tracks. And that's our in-game audio on that one. However, there doesn't seem to be a direct way of separating them in the editor. So this is the workaround I use. The quickest and easiest way is come up to File, then go to Export Movie, come down to Audio as WAV. Click on that, OK that. I'm sending everything to my desktop, and here's our WAV file. If we drag that in, right click there, set that back to Track 1, which is our mic track. And looking at the size of that WAV file, bringing that right down. Mic track, mic track, mic track. And there we go. The beauty of this way, of course, is you now have a WAV file on your desktop that you can send to a different audio editor and clean it up there. That's obviously a definite advantage. There is one more workaround, however. So if I delete that, go to the desktop, you have your game footage selected, hold down your control key. Drag this file out copy, right click on it, rename, and I'll just call it copy for the sake of this tutorial. Back in Magix, and copy has appeared. Drag that down. Now, this track selected, switch to audio track, we'll put it on track 2. Obviously, we don't need a second video file, so if it's selected again, click on the ungroup, which will separate your audio and your video. Highlight your video and delete. And again, just give you a little boost to the mic volume. Mic track, mic track, mic track. And there we go. Job a good one. So that should hopefully solve some of the issues people are having with this program as some of these features aren't very well documented. Oh and since we're talking about audio issues, sometimes if your gameplay footage and audio go out of sync, if it's selected, right click and try create new frame table sometimes sorts it, sometimes doesn't. So anyway, I hope somebody's found this tutorial useful or interesting, and if you have, don't forget to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and let me know you're alive, and I'll see you all next time. Bye now.